Today I'll walk through how I created this diffused unmasking effect using Unicorn Studio and Framer. So let's get to it. So starting off, I'll log into unicorn.studio and let's create a new project. First thing we wanna do is add our image layer. This does work with videos or images, but for this example, I'm, I'm just gonna use an image. So I add this here, click fit to artboard. So it scales up the full width and full height. And on this image, let's go to the effects panel at the top. And I wanna add the diffuse effect. All right, grab that diffused effect and add it into the image layer. And now when I click on this, you know, you can adjust these settings how you see fit. Uh, I'm just gonna eye this up. I think the direction actually, I wanna stay at 50%. The amount you can scale to your liking. Let's just go about 46%. Okay, so that's our diffuse layer. Now we need to add another layer on top, which is the um, clean version of the image. So I'll go back to the image here, add it, check fit to artboard. And here is where we we'll wanna add the mouse trail effect to unmask it. So we'll just go down to distort and click on mouse trail. And again, put that inside the image layer. So you can see that there. And right now when I hover over it, it just, just does this uh, liquify effect. We wanna go over here in the right panel, click on effect type and go to reveal background. All right, so now when I do this again, it's still having that liquify. So what we wanna do is take the scale down to zero and we're getting closer, but you can still see the background layer of which is black. And the way to fix that is to take the alpha down for that layer, revealing the diffuse layer below. So now we're getting pretty close. The issue we're having here is that it's fading away as I move and, and going back to 100% with the, the mouse effect. So to fix that, we just need the tail to stay at 100%, and that way it never goes back to where it was. As you can see as I'm hovering over that, it stays um, removed. And it stays pretty soft. So there, again, you can adjust the radius, how big you want the mouse effect to be. So let's just give this a refresh and look at it with the smaller mouse reveal. All right, but I actually like that quite a bit larger, maybe 50%. Okay, so that's the effect. Now to bring this in the framer, it's pretty simple. We go to export embed and I'll just publish this one more time just to be sure there are different frame rates and scaling options for performance I'm gonna leave those all as is and what we need here is this framer component I'm going to copy that link jump over to framer and I have a demo project here which has all the text and you know top toolbar laid out, uh, but we're gonna focus on bringing in this diffused component using Framer. So I have a hero section with the title text and the background layer. And all you need to do now is just paste because I copied that component from Unicorn. I'll click paste and it actually put it in the headline layer. So let's move that to the background layer. And it has a fixed width and height of 400, 800 and 400, we want this to fill. So fill and fill. And you still can't see it. That's because there's one more step. We need the project ID number from Unicorn in order for this to render. So let's jump back to Unicorn. Project ID number is right here. I'll copy this, jump back into Framer, paste. All right. And again, you still can't see it because I have an image reveal component above it. So if I hide that, you'll see the unicorn component here. And it says, uh, you know, this will render in preview and not on your and on your published site. This is to avoid performance issues when you're actually working on building the site and the design and you have some complicated unicorn files. Um, they will just show when you click preview. So let's go ahead. I'll turn my reveal effect back on. Click play. 
there it is and it's working as expected we can scroll through you could change the images in unicorn and then just republish if you want to change it so why don't we try that so i'll go to the image here click replace image uh, let's pick this girl we'll need to do it for both layers okay and i'll go to export publish jump back over to framer give this a reload and now we have the new image hope that helps let me know if you have any questions about it um, but i thought this was a really nice subtle uh, effect and really easy to integrate into framer sites using unicorn so thanks a lot